just in. Court says F City residents seeking extension of Ferrari's tenure must answer three questions before hearing case. Do welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Now to the news details. Carefully listen to the end. The Federal High Court sitting in Abuja has adjourned sitting to the side on an application seeking an order to bar the Chief Justice of Nigeria, Justice Olukayode Ariwola, from swearing in the president elect, Bolatinumbu, on May 29 and extend the tenure of President Mamadou Buhari pending the determination of whether it is compulsory for the winner in a presidential election to get 25% of votes in the FCT. The suit was filed by Merce Ayongbam Okoye, David Adza, Jeffrey Uche, Osang Paul, and Chukwe Buke Nwachuku against the Chief Justice of Nigeria and the Office of the Attorney General of the Federation, describing themselves as registered voters of the FCT, Abuja. The sorts, they had sought the following reliefs. A declaration that no state of the country is at the same time the FCT for any purpose whatsoever, including, in particular, under Section 134, Subsection 2B of the Constitution, a declaration that no candidate in the February 25 presidential election in the country may validly be declared elected president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria without that candidate obtaining at least 25% of the votes cast in the FCT, Abuja. A declaration that no candidate in the February 25 presidential election may be validly sworn in as president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Without such candidates, having obtained 25% of the votes cast in FCT Abuja. A declaration that following the February 25 presidential election and until its successor is determined in accordance with the provisions of the constitution and sworn in. The term of, his, the term of office of His Excellency Muhammadu Buhari, GCOM, as President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, subsists and endures in accordance with the provisions of Section 135, Subsection 1A of the Constitution, and order setting aside or suspending any declaration and or assurance of a certificate of a return to any candidate in the February 25 presidential election in the country as having been elected, save and except it is judicially determined with penalty that such candidate fulfill the conditions stated in section 134, subsection 2b of the constitution. At the hearing before Justice Iyak Eko on Monday, the judge told the plaintiff's lawyer, Chuks Unwanchuku, that the case has been adjourned to May 18 to allow him get answers to certain questions. The judge held that on the next adjourned date, the lawyer must address the courts on local standing, right to appear in courts, jurisdiction and whether his case is already before the presidential election petition tribunal. 
It was reported that the Presidential Election Petition Court is vested with jurisdiction to proceed over the fallout of the 2023 presidential poll. Our correspondent reports that the FCT question also forms the major grounds in the petitions of the Labour Party and the People's Democratic Party against Tinumbu and Ainek. Five residents of FCT filed a petition that Tinumbu must not be sworn in until the tribunal gives a clear indication concerning their petitions, the 25% votes, and that any candidate would not be sworn in as president if the candidate did not obtain 25% votes. Vote cast in the FCT Abuja. They are contending because Tinumbu did not actually have 25% vote cast in FCT, but he had for other states, and this is their issues. But after some time, the judiciary, pardon, the tribunal also had to ask them certain questions. They must address the court on local standing, jurisdiction, and whether the case is already before the tribunal petition before or not. So they cannot just bring up their petitions like that and accept, accept the judiciary to just speak concerning it. So the judiciary had to postpone the, the hearing to May 18 so that the questions, they can get answers to all their questions. But we, we know that the constitution needs to be followed before anyone is declared the winner. The constitution says a person who will be pronounced the winner must actually have 25% vote cast in 36 states and FCT. And the INEC the, the went to proclaim Ashuraji Balame Tinubu as the winner, whereas he did not have 25% of the vote cast. So this is the e in FCT. So this is the issues Nigerians are having. That the judiciary, the tribunal, should make it clear to every one of us what that statement simply means. What's your view to this? Thank you for staying tuned to the end. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.